Hey everybody, Aaron Blaze here again, and I'm back with another quick animation tip. If you've been around animation long enough, you've definitely heard the term squash and stretch. Well, what is that? Well, squash and stretch is the term that we give to something that we do in animation to make the animation more dynamic, more fun, more impactful. Yeah. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Come on over here. So what I've drawn here is a little flower sack. This is something that we do all the time when we're learning animation. It's got volume, it's got shape. You can bend it and do all kinds of great stuff with it. And so I wanna show you what squash and stretch is. So here I've drawn this little guy and he's gonna jump up in the air. So what I'm gonna have him do is he's gonna anticipate. He's gonna bend down and then he's gonna jump. Now here, it's just the first drawing. And that's basically our flower sack standing up straight, right? Well here in the next drawing, look what I've done. I've really stretched him. I've stretched him because I really want him to cover a long distance. I want it to just really kind of uh, pop and make it feel more dynamic. And so then all of a sudden, snap right off the ground. He comes up and then he kind of goes back into his normal shape. You see that right up there. And then he starts to fall. And once again, gravity grabs hold of him and I want to cover that distance. So look at that stretch. He's not stretching quite as much, but he's stretching again. He's stretching down towards the ground because he's moving fast. And then boom, look at that squash. I want you to feel that impact. I want, you to, I want it to feel like he's stopping really quick. And so rather than just making him go back to his normal shape laying down, I'm squashing him. He's getting squashed out and then he can pop back to his normal shape right there. See that? So now when I play it back, now that you've seen all of these little bits to make it more dynamic, when I play it back, watch this. See that? It feels more dynamic. It feels more cartoony. It feels more car uh, caricatured, more impactful. So this is what squash and stretch is. And we even do it in realistic animation. It's something that we do all the time. It makes your animation more dynamic and more impactful. Stick around for more. I'll talk to you later. Thanks.